Receiver set it up perfectly, worked his way inside, and then broke it back to the outside for the completion. And now a first down following that long game. Murray the lone setback. They go play action here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Bobby Wagner in from his linebacker's spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Receivers to the left, one to the right. On second down, here's Carr. Holmes has got it complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and 10. Throwing now is Carr. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. So now on fourth down, the Raiders will turn it over to the left foot of Sebastian Janikowski. And Janikowski bangs it through, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, so no problems converting there. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive, he'll look to throw. He, oh, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Seattle. 41 yards. We saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Rawls, the lone man in the backfield. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to CenturyLink Field after this. Now Wilson on second down. Baldwin with it over the middle. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Doug Baldwin, 42 yards. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. How about that touchdown, partner? If you blinked, you probably missed it. I looked away for just a second, and they were in the end zone. And oh, he missed it. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the 
decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On first down, Carr. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You know, walking in here before the game, you and I heard several fans talking about Tom Brady coming back. It is league-wide news that Brady returns in Week 5. But the news is really concentrated in New England because they're coming off of a tough loss to Buffalo. Now they've got their guy back, number 12, and no one's happier than he is to return to his team. Here's Carr. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Halfback sent in motion. Throwing his car on third down. And now another one thrown incomplete. Not only was that a three and out, it was their third straight incompletion on this drive. And they didn't even think about trying to run the football. Now they have to give it up. And no move to pull Carr and the offense off. They're going to go on fourth down. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Here we go on fourth down with Carr. He finds Crabtree for the completion. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Brenda, I have one word for you after that completion for a first down. Lucky? Analytics. <laughs> well, the analytics say you punt the football there. <laughs> so we're changing the analytics as we go, right? What a big-time play for them. And really took a big-time chance. Yeah, big-time first-half chance. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now, Carr again. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. And the back goes into motion. Car to throw again. And that's complete to Walford. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They go play action here on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Here's Carr to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And out of bounds, just shy of the end zone at the one. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. Now they'll run, Murray, and no signal yet. I don't think he got in, he didn't. They'll mark him at the one. No gain, and it's second down. Now they'll let Olawale have a crack at it. Now hold everything here, we're gonna get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now 
And they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. Now Carr, and this is caught. It's Cooper, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Amari Cooper as the first half is winding down, and the Raiders have retaken the lead. And oh, he missed it. It's no good. And that will keep this a three-point game. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. So a third and 10, and defensively, a dime look, six DBs. On third down, Wilson going for the deep ball. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game, instead, fourth down. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier trying to keep him in the rhythm. And likely time for one final play here in the half. So they will go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. Rolls. <laughs> Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is... 